Okay, this video will be on is still on Excel. We are still busy with Excel. I want to show you how to freeze and unfreeze columns or uh, a row. The reason why we would want to freeze a row, if we look at the example I've got in front of me, we've got your column headings, item price, unit price, VAT, 14% in total. If it is a really long uh, spreadsheet, when you go down, you scroll down to the last entry in the this, this spreadsheet, you cannot see the headings of the columns anymore. So you might get confused of what is supposed to go in which column. So for us to be able to freeze that top row, you always have to be in the row underneath the top row. So if your column headings is in row 1, you will click in row 2. Then you go to view on top of your toolbar, you go to view. Then you go, you will see there's something called freeze panes with a little down arrow. Click on the down arrow, then you've got three different options, freeze panes, freeze top row, or freeze the first column. Now in this uh, exercise, we want to freeze the top row, so you click on top row. You won't see anything happening, but as soon as you start scrolling down, you will see that your top row is fixed. All the other rows runs under in under the, 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 the top row, so you can see your column headings at all times. So in the test or in the exam, you will be asked to, to freeze the top row and then show, for instance, rows 1 to, oh, actually rows 47 to 53 in this in instance, so that I can see that you did freeze the top row. So you will scroll up. There's your whole document. You will scroll up until you see row 47. It's just under row 1 up to the last one, 53. You will make a print screen by pressing print screen, minimize, opening a blank Word document. And then you paste it in there. And then I can see that you've frozen the top row there. It's row 1 and then 47 up to 53. When we go back to that document, I can always go back to freeze panes and unfreeze those panes. I can undo the, the, the freezing of that first row, which I did previously. I can also freeze a column. If your spreadsheet has got many columns that runs uh, over the whole document or over the whole screen where you have to go from the one side to the other side, you will see that your left-hand columns disappear. So if your first column, for instance, is the name of a person or uh, a student, or in this case, it's the, the item name, <coughs> and there were many more columns, then you can also be in the first column, freeze panes, freeze the first column. So when you go and you go to the next columns, you will see that the first column stays there. It's now frozen. It's not going or moving when I move in my spreadsheet. Then I can go back to unfreeze panes, and as soon as I move, the first column will move again. The reason for using freeze panes is so that you can at any time see the top row or your first column, depending on what information it is. People, please remember in Excel, everything that you do in Excel, you will have to make print screens. You cannot print that you've frozen a row. You cannot print that you've changed or renamed the sheets. You have to make a print screen of that and then paste it in Word so that the, whoever is marking your, your work can see that you've done that. So if you have changed or renamed your sheet, if you've moved them around uh, into alphabetical order, you'll have to make a print screen and paste it in Word so that whoever is marking it can see it. Everything basically that you do in Excel will be print screens. Very, uh, not often you will have to
type a spreadsheet and print it. You will have to make changes to it, make a print screen and then paste it in Word so that the whole screen is visible for the person who is marking your work.